I'd like to talk to you tonight about DX spotting programs. They can help you contact DXCC countries or expeditions that you'd like to reach. I personally find a combination of three of these spotting programs working together helps me the most. First, I use VE7CC or CC user as my foundational program. I can integrate that into my logging program in 3FJP or into the N1MM Plus contest logging programs. This is my core spotting program and we have an excellent training guide available on the Spokane DX Association website under the Articles tab if you'd like to explore that more. There's also a wonderful video by Randy Foltz, K7TQ, called N1MM Plus Add-on Programs that covers how to set up VE7CC with N1MM. I'm sure you'd find that helpful. My second program that I like is HamAlert. There's a video about this on the Spokane DX uh, YouTube channel that kind of gives you an orientation of how I use that. But this is my primary program for reaching DXCC entities that I have not contacted previously. The third program is called DX Summit. And I want to thank Chuck Williams, KI7DG, for putting me onto this program last year. This is the program I now use primarily for D expeditions and for needed band fills of countries that I'm using, uh, wanting to reach for DXCC. I will give you a slight disclaimer. Uh, to use my system, you either need to have multiple monitors or multiple devices. It's pretty hard to do all on one screen. So I use VE7CC integrated into my logging program. That's on my primary screen. I keep DX Summit running on a separate monitor, and I keep it running all the time for the countries I'm looking for. And I use my cell phone to get spots from HamAlert. You could do it different ways, but that's the way I happen to do it. In this video, I would like to show you how to use DX Summit. There's a comprehensive PDF guide for DX Summit on the Spokane DX Association website under the Articles tab if you'd like to get a comprehensive guide. To get to DX Summit, you just pick the web browser of your preference and type in dxsummit.fi. The FI lets you know that this is a Finnish website. For this video, I'll be using Chrome as my browser. What you see now is the home page as it would come up if you had set no uh, filters of any kind. And in many ways, it's not much different than a VE7CC. Here you see a list of all the current spots. But now I want to show you how I use it and what makes it a little bit unique. First off, you notice there's a filter button right here. We can click it and we can determine what we want to include and what we want to exclude from our spots. So for example, I want to include all the phone and digi. I want all of the HF bands because I'm interested in them. I don't need the CW because I don't do CW. And I don't need the very high frequency, uh, ultra high frequency, or super high frequency, uh, because I'm really not interested in those. You can also, you see at the bottom, put flags. For example, if you wanted it to flag anything that was an IOTA, or a satellite, or a QRP, uh, a mobile, a portable, or a beacon, you could have it flag it. Now, after you've set it however you want it, and again, you'd customize it to fit your needs, and make it uh, what you wanted. Uh, for example, if you didn't have an antenna for a certain band, there'd be no need of getting a spot for it. You want to come up here and you hit Set Filters. Now, once we do that, it will eliminate all the spots that don't meet that criteria. And that makes it uh, much more useful. But that's still not the most important thing to me. Now we want to set specific filters for what we're wanting. And this could be a call sign, a country, a prefix, um, a IT zone, a uh, CQ zone. Uh, and you do it all up here at the top uh, in the search box. Notice right to the left of the search box, you have 
two toggles. One says DX or DE. One says inc INC include or exclude. The default is DX include. But what that means is if it's set on DX, this is going to include anything you type in this box. If you have it on DE, it will include where the spotter is at. That's for that. And then, for example, if there was a spotter you did not want to have, you would hit it like this, and you would, so this would filter out that spotter, and, and you wouldn't get them. So let me just show you how it works. Let's say we want to add a country. So let's say we're going to add Zimbabwe. We can hit like this. And now, because we had DX in it, it's included all the spots for Zimbabwe. And you can see them. They appear here. And this is very helpful if you're trying to reach a D expedition. It lets you know what bands are being spotted on, where they're being spotted from, and often there's some hints about it. And, and that's very helpful there. Now, this will give all the spots for the country you specify no matter where that spot comes from. We could have also just typed the D expedition sign. So I could have typed Z 21 CU. Honestly, I would get exactly the same thing. So if, for example, a D expedition is using two call signs, I usually will put the country. If they're only using one, I'll usually put their call sign. Uh, it just makes it very specific. I also want to get all the spots that come from CQ Zone 3. So I'm going to click over here to Spots, Include. I'll put 3, come down to CQ Zone 3. Now if you notice it's refreshed, and now I not only am getting that D expedition I was getting, but I'm also getting all of the spots that are coming from Zone 3. And this is often helpful if there's several day expeditions or just a rare country on. Usually, I will put any current day expedition or rare call sign up in my filter box. And that will help me see what's on and when they're on, and I can trace them that way. I often would have five, five to ten uh, spawn, uh, filters set. When the de-expedition is over, I just simply remove them, continue from there. So, in summary, I'd like to just share with you, my system is to use three spotting programs. VE7CC for my standard spotting. Ham Alert for any DXCC entity that I don't have. And DX Summit for de-expeditions and rare countries. Hope this helped you, and I hope you find some ways to Get new countries in your log. Thank you.